Hey my loves, so today is the day I'm going to be showing you how I decorated my kitchen for autumn. <sighs> Finally, it's time. Make yourself cozy, grab a blanket, grab a coffee, grab your tea, and let's do this video. Let's go dolls. That is my dream. So I'm going to break this video up into two parts because I feel like there's just too much going on to show in one video. It's going to be a long drawn out video. So tomorrow I'm going to post part two, which will be my living room behind me. And you're going to see how I decorate my living room for autumn. So we're going to start on the kitchen and the dining first. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you. So I wanted to keep the theme very autumn and still have my pink details you know what instead of talking let me just show you here is my kitchen dolls look dolls here is my kitchen for autumn i am obsessed where do we even begin i don't even know where to start so we're going to start in the kitchen first and then we're going to move to the dining I don't know where to begin. Where do we begin? This is so stunning to me and I just can't wait to show you all the detail and uh, it's gorgeous. We're gonna start over here and this is just, I would say my favorite part, my favorite detail. So as usual, you know I love having, I love having like garland going across the island table. I had never seen that before and I just started doing it last year for Christmas and I love how a lot of people are now starting to do it. I just love it. It's like that's such a nice place to decorate and I just want to keep it simple and give like an autumn an autumnal feeling when you step into my kitchen and this is it. Like I just love that. I love that detail and this garland is just absolutely gorgeous it's that perfect shade that can complement pink really well but then it's still giving autumn you still got the brown leaves and you've got the cream leaves that tie in so well i was going to add some lights in it i was thinking of adding like lights inside here so it can light up like orangey lights that can light up at night i might add some in like some acorns that have lights attached to it like a string i might add that in tell me what you think i think i should add that in so at night time or towards the evening i can create like a full feeling like a cozy warm feeling so i'm gonna do that and then i can like click it and it lights up oh so excited so i love that and this is just absolutely i'm gonna come up close so this is from walmart and i just like taped it across and i think it just looks gorgeous it's a perfect autumnal touch i'm gonna move back a bit so you can see oh gorgeous now down here, when I when I was buying, this is everyone's focal point, I can already tell because it's mine, it's my favourite part of this. So when I was buying this, um, these um, bar stools, I imagined for every season to have like something, like a little mini reef on the back. And I made these myself, so I DIY'd these. And when I bought this, this is all I was thinking. I was thinking of Christmas, fall, Valentine's Day, like everything, having a bow on the back, like they would look so gorgeous and they do. And it's just, I'm obsessed with it. This is like my favorite part. I'm gonna come up close so you can see. And they just hang on there and they just look so gorgeous. I'm gonna move back so you can see how it looks. They just look so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with how these came out. Look at that. They look so gorgeous. Like, I feel like if I just did this, everything would have been like, that would be enough. Like, I don't even need more. Like, I feel that like it's just so, it's such a gorgeous touch. And I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do for Christmas because I've already started designing a Christmas one. So I made these myself. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got like these mini, I'm going to come up close. You'd also have seen this. So I got like a mini wire reef and I just added all of that on there. And it just looks so good. Like it complements everything like it's just oh I love it and it just looks good against the velvet um bar stool my bar stools I love it it's such a gorgeous gorgeous detail and then look the little cameo in the middle it's so gorgeous so coquette so full I am obsessed with this like I can't get over it I'm going to tell you originally originally I was not going to have this going across because I felt I do that for Christmas, so let me just leave that for Christmas. But I thought, no, and then also because I have these, so I was thinking, let me just not add two, like, 
things that are like competing for attention but like when you step back that looks amazing like it looks absolutely gorgeous like it just screams full and I love it and when you see my living room you're gonna see how everything just ties in so nicely like I'm obsessed with how this came out so that is that I can't get enough of it and then let's move along to here <laughs> So as usual, I love decorating with this. I believe it makes an amazing centerpiece. Um, as you know, they are well like done. Like they, I can't find new ones. So I just use them every year for decorating. They make a good trinket box as well. Like you can put stuff inside if you wash out all the candle, all the wax inside there. So I just think it's a nice centerpiece. I couldn't think of what to put in the center because I just don't want it to take attention away from other stuff. Like I think this is simple, clean and pretty. We're, forget the coffee bar. I'm not going to show you the coffee bar. That's going to be another video. So stay tuned for that. So forget you can see my coffee bar because I've not shown it in this video. We're going to focus on other stuff. I feel like it needs a video of its own because I kind of need to explain everything separately. So we're going to like, just don't look at the coffee bar. <laughs> don't look at that. We're going to look at the main part of the kitchen and I'm going to go through like everything I did there. So we are going to start over here. I love, love, love this area. Oh, so gorgeous. So as you can see, I have the hand towels kept them in here and I love how soft they are I feel like I'm not going to use them because they're just so soft they're so pretty like I don't want to touch them um I was gonna have garland going across but then like that garland but I thought mm, let me just not do that because it would be it kind of was distracting I want to keep it very clean very simple very clean um so I have bits of it so I have that part in the coffee bar as well just like in the corners and then the one the one on top so here just kept it very simple just like a little bit of like leaves hanging off I love it and then I have a little pumpkin in the corner <laughs> the rhinestone pumpkin because I think it looks good I love the rhinestone detail in this corner. I felt that was like the best pumpkin to have in there. I might change my mind later on. I don't know. I'm always constantly changing my mind, but I love it with the little um, Bath and Body Works room scent thing going on there, the air freshener. And it just looks gorgeous. I love that in the corner there. Just want to keep everything clean. Then I have my candle here underneath, my Yankee candle burning. I just want to keep everything very cozy, very clean. Hints of full, but not going like super overboard, if that makes sense. Just very clean. I wanted that corner to look like it has like leaves just growing out of the wall, <laughs> out of the shelves. And I love that. I love that little detail. Like I messed around with this whole um, garland so many times. Like I moved it around and I love the final, like, I love how this looks like. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, that is this corner. Let me give you a little sneak peek of the coffee bar. There's a sneak peek and that's it. That's all you're seeing. <laughs> you're going to see later on how it came out. But if you look carefully at the coffee bar, you can see how I have that same detail coming out, like the leaves coming out, out of the wall. Like I love that detail. Um, so yeah, it's like matching. I'm going to move back and give you like a sneak peek. It's matching. <laughs> So up here we have my wreath that I made. I love this, it's so gorgeous. I love the velvet, I love the pearls. I added big pearls. Um, I have the cameo in the middle. I love that coquette theme um, with the satin bows. And then look, I was gonna go really, really crazy with the garland on top, but I thought, no, let's just have it like that. Like we don't need to do too much. I wanted it to kind of drape down a little bit, but I was like, no, let's keep it like that. And it looks really, really good like that. I, d I was gonna have pumpkins on top, but it's just a lot and it's hard to like, like climb up there for me. So I'm just like, let's leave it simple, very clean and matching the rest of the kitchen. I love that detail. I'm not gonna be showing my coffee bar until maybe next week, Sunday. I don't know when I'm gonna post the coffee bar video, but stay tuned for that. Um, Cause I want it to be special. I want you all to see it separately. So stay tuned for that. Um, oh my God, I love my kitchen dolls. Like it's just so perfect. Look behind me, everything is just like so pretty. I am obsessed. Now you see in the kitchen, I'm gonna show you the dining room. You dolls are gonna love it. It goes so well. It's so themed with the, like it goes so well with the kitchen come and see my dining room oh my god look so totally ignore the amazon boxes in the background but this is my dining table and everything you see here i pretty much did it on my own like everything in the video like diy everything and i love it i love how it came out i love the velvet pumpkins matching my velvet chairs I made this little tablescape myself and I am proud of it. I love how this looks. I love how it turned out. 
I love the pearls. I love the acorns I added in here, scented acorns. I love, love, love all of these because they match. They look so good against my dining chairs. And I just wanted to keep this area a bit simple, but very full, very cozy and keeping the same theme. As you can see, I have the same garland going around. Like it's just like, it just looks like a pumpkin patch and I wanted it to look like that. I wanted it to be very functional so you can still eat on here but you have this gorgeous like detail in the middle i love 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 all the pumpkins it's so girly it's so me and i reused a lot of them from last year and they just look gorgeous and i added some new pieces in there as well so it's just like such a gorgeous like dining space minus the dog um crate in the background and um, but that's just life <laughs> they sit there they always stay there so i just love it it looks gorgeous and it just, I feel like it just, it gives that full look without doing too much. So tell me what you think. I'm going to move to this side so you can see it on this side. I think it looks gorgeous. Don't look at the Amazon boxes in the background. I have some stuff to throw away. <laughs> Real life. Here's another gorgeous angle of how my dining table looks like. I love it. Love it. And here's the pumpkins. The tablescape came out gorgeous. So this is like a 360 of how everything looks like. There's the dining, the kitchen. It's absolutely gorgeous. So cozy in here. It feels so autumnly, autumnly, autumnal. I love it. I feel, I feel like it's full now and it literally is full. We're in the 21st or something, right? When you're watching this video, it'll be like in the 20, 22nd or something. I don't know, but it is gorgeous i love it oh my god i can't get over it so this is my kitchen i this is my favorite favorite full decoration ever i love it i love how it turned out wait till you see the living room dolls you dolls will scream I just want you to also stay here and just enjoy all the autumn cozy vibes in my apartment but we have come to the end of this video so before we end the video I wanted to remind you dolls to check out tomorrow on Monday I am going to be posting part two which will be my living room you don't want to miss it it's just as gorgeous there's a little bit of surprises in there as well so you don't want to miss how I decorated my living room oh my god I almost, almost fell down I was almost off balance you don't want to you don't want to miss how I decorated my living room for autumn stay tuned that's coming up on Monday so that's literally tomorrow after you're watching this video thank you so much for watching dolls we did it fall autumn is here so at the end of every video we we have a secret emoji that we comment it helps me know who has been watching to the end of the video so today's video because we did a full autumn um kitchen tour we are going to be doing um let's do the maple leaf so comment the maple leaf a pumpkin and a pink bow in the comment section down below it helps me know who has been watching to the end of the video so comment the maple leaf the pumpkin and the pink bow in the comment section down below oh my god i love it dolls it's just so gorgeous in here with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, dolls. I love taking your dolls with me through my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you inspiration. Let me know what your favorite part of the whole, like, like this whole video is what you like the most and you know what inspires you let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i love you dolls with all my heart if you enjoyed this video give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe down below thank you so much for watching this 
kitchen tour video thank you so much for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you oh don't forget to share this video subscribe if you're new i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video which is tomorrow so tune in for that because you're going to be seeing the living room love you all so much smooches bye dolls